Advantage plus shopping campaigns, should you run it or should you avoid it altogether? In this video, we're going to set up an Advantage plus shopping campaign from scratch and I will show you the parts that you need to focus on and the parts that you should ignore to achieve a really high, sweet, sweet ROAS that is about 10x. Yes, you heard me right. I've been seeing over 10x ROAS with this campaign strategy with Advantage plus shopping campaigns. How do I do it? I will show you and what are the requirements for you to achieve at least 10x return on ad spend with advantage plus shopping campaigns i will show you every single thing but before we get into it i'm jim and i've been running ads for fortune 500 businesses companies all around the world before we get into it i want to state one thing guys if you do not have a product and market fit yet and if your advertising account does not have more than 50 conversion actions meaning usually i want to aim sales but some people focus on optimized towards add to cart just ignore add to cart focus on conversion sales if you do not have more than 50 sales this campaign strategy can still be utilized but it's not going to yield the best results that's what i've observed with the accounts that i've been running and if you're using print on demand t-shirts which only unique identifier is the design of the t-shirt it is not gonna perform the best because you're not gonna be able to tell a story and the t-shirts and let's get right into it let's set up a campaign from scratch and let's see what we can achieve with this type of campaign all right let's go all right boys and girls now we're in the ad account the first thing we do always do is the create button on the top left hand corner we're gonna go down we're gonna click on the sales icon and we're going to say continue now it is the strategy that we're going to utilize usually people come in which i still do it there's nothing wrong with going with a manual sales campaign which still can yield amazing results but in this case we are covering advantage plus shopping campaign there are some unique cases that you should avoid this and other than that you are good to go with this campaign strategy and we're going to select this and we're not going to do anything we're not going to click on anything else we're going to say continue perfect we're going to have campaign and the ad set on the same section which is what makes it actually unique right usually there is campaign ad set and there's the ad level but here we have campaign and ad set is in the same structure same page so you name your campaign whatever the campaign name is you go down you select the conversion location and you select the pixel here since this is a brand new ad account as i said i don't have a pixel and then you choose your campaign objective which which goal do you want to optimize towards as i said some people optimize towards add to cart there are some people optimizing towards weave content but i do not suggest those i suggest you go with maximum conversion maximum purchase and under that you don't have to select cost per result goal i don't really suggest it because if you do that guys with this advantage plus shopping campaign you're not going to be able to spend your whole budget that's why i don't really suggest it select your country select the exclusion excluded locations in my opinion it's not really necessary select country that you want to target after that you go down there is a reporting and audience type breakdown so you can do this in the ad account level which means actually you can select let's say 180 days website visitors and you will be able to see how many people are actually in that big advantage plus shopping campaign how many people are going to that audience right in if you're familiar with performance max campaigns in google ads it is a really heavy remarketing involved in those campaign types they leverage great amount of conversions but how they do it they also do a lot of remarketing in that sense in this case what we want to do is if you don't have to do it it's reporting purposes only and you will see how much of your ad spend has gone towards remarketing in this advantage plus shopping campaign right otherwise we we were able to in a manual campaign manual uh, campaign we were able to exclude people who visited the website we can manually target those people but in this case it is a set and forget type of campaign you don't have to set up a separate remarketing campaign a separate you know prospecting campaign middle of funnel bottle of funnel you don't have to do it we scroll down you set a daily budget guys with this type of campaign the minimum daily budget i suggest is 50 dollars in here in, uh, in australia i usually go with 50 australian dollars if you're targeting in united states it might be 40 us dollars 35 i don't know we go down and then there's the budgeting and then the suggested ads guys don't try budget scheduling right now with this campaign type it doesn't usually perform very well we want to utilize 
as much artificial intelligence as possible here. I don't want to increase my budgets during certain days or certain time of the day to spike certain things and confuse the algorithm. I don't want to do that. I want the AI to take full advantage of their powers. All right, now, so now we go down, we have the suggested ads. Guys, if you have 50 conversions in your ad account, you will have great amount of ads allocated here, probably like 10, more than 10 maybe, different ads sitting right here usually those ads that show up here they perform really really well so take a good note of what Facebook suggests here so you might see some ad that is not really performing really well in your ad, other campaigns but if Facebook suggests it here go ahead with that but usually they perform they suggest the top performing creatives that for you to use and implement in this case we're just gonna we since we don't have any ads previously since this is a test account we don't have any ads we have to create it but if you have ads here already existing that's what I suggest you shouldn't run this campaign type if you're a brand new account if you don't have any conversion actions or maybe you just have 10 purchases five purchases it's just simply not gonna work guys I've tested that a lot and the sweet spot is 50 I mean if you have 100 200 thousands of conversion actions you will see amazing results but as I said if you have just one type of product which meaning t-shirts and print on demand specifically because the only unique identifier is the design and with that since they're pulling the original product image and the print on demand product images are usually kind of poor I usually see poor performance with print on demand companies when I'm using advantage plus shopping campaign just keep that in mind but if you have amazing product images in your Shopify in this case let me show one of my examples here let's go and see one of the products and you will see what I mean so if you have a product image like this this is one of the test products that I have it's not gonna perform guys it's simply not gonna perform because the product image is not sufficient if you have lifestyle images instead of this it might but I still do not suggest it guys all right we go back since there's no images you're gonna go next and then we are almost ready to go live guys we're just gonna create ads now let's say you selected five to six different ads from your previous campaign right and you select your camp the Facebook page you go down manual upload single image or video ad we, we're gonna select a single image you're gonna say add media you're gonna say add image it is the same process let's say you want to go with this I'm gonna say next yes this is the creative that I want to go with and the really important thing here guys I covered this in one of my videos advantage plus creatives I do not suggest you turn them all on the reason being is it is going to create a messy look it increases the performance usually you see a better performance but if you have clients they're not going to be happy if you're running ads for other people just turn the music off I know it is gonna take some more time on reels placement and people are tend to gonna engage a little bit more but if you have clients if you're running ads for your clients they're simply not gonna be happy just turn everything on off just keep relevant comments and turn this off turn this off text improvements you can keep this on they're just gonna switch places but I do not have that in this case so I'm gonna turn this off as well so I'm gonna say done cool so I, I'm gonna write my text and I'm gonna go publish I want you to do one more thing with advantage plus shopping campaigns guys what works really well is catalog ads catalog it has to be carousel so what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna come here and I'm gonna say create ad so I'm gonna create one more ad after this but ideally you can have guys more than 10 creatives on their one advantage plus shopping campaign it is not a lot if it depends on the budget of course if you have like five dollars a day it is a lot but if you have as I said like fifty dollars a day ten creatives is not a lot at all what we're gonna do we're gonna come to catalog here now we're gonna select catalog and instead of single image or video I'm gonna select carousel this is gonna make the performance way 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 better so the key here guys most of the cases catalog is gonna take the most amount of spend which is perfectly normal don't freak out if that happens but the catalogs performance is usually gonna be a little bit better than your other images single images other carousel ads whatever the case may be so always always include one catalog ad that I suggest and it should be a carousel and then go down and then publish that ad and I have one golden tip which I saved for the last time it is really really important and the last golden tip I saved for the last minute is this you have to run an advantage plus shopping campaign for at least 
two months to be successful. If you have a campaign, let's say Valentine's Day, this is February 2024, right? That is going to run for, let's say, two weeks, one week, it is not going to perform that well. It needs some time to learn. It usually performs better if you give it two months at least. It is going to pick up in terms of the performance and it's going to outperform your other campaigns. The caveat here is you need to have at least 50 conversion actions, 50 sales in your ad account. If you have one product which is which you cannot utilize, let's say, catalog ads, it is still fine. You can still use this, but ideally brands, let's say shoe sneaker brands, they perform really well. If you have different type of products, if you have t-shirts, clothing, hoodies, etc. If you have good product images, this is going to perform really well. This really depends on the catalog guys. Catalog really carries most of the, most of the ad spend. And lastly, and most importantly, guys, you do not have any targeting. The targeting is done by the algorithm. That's why I suggest your ad account has to have some data for you to be profitable with this campaign type. If your ad account has no data, they won't know what to target. They won't know who to target, right? That's the main key point here. You want to have at least 50 conversion actions. And also, you want to have some winning creatives, meaning you are profitable. If you're not profitable, don't expect a Advantage Plus shopping campaign to give you miraculous results. It's not going to happen. If you are profitable already, if you're seeing some 2x ROAS, 3x ROAS, if you and you have more than 50 conversions, once you include this in letter one for two months, I promise you, you're going to see 10x ROAS. If not 10x, you're going to see 8x, 6x ROAS easily with this campaign tab. But you have to be patient. You have to give it six, two months, as I said, to run, to gather some data, and then it will get to that point. And if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to follow and share this on LinkedIn so your colleagues know you're on top of your game.